Next, let's talk about chat features and the Sendbird dashboard. So as mentioned before, the push notifications are supported uh, by Sendbird. So you can use APNS for iOS devices, FCM for Android devices, or Huawei mobile services is also available for Huawei devices. Um, for APNS, you're going to save the certificate on the Sendbird dashboard. And then for FCM, you're going to save the server key on the Sendbird dashboard. Uh, and there's, there's a notification section on the dashboard in, in order to do that. Um, the user has to specifically have a device token registered for them. And this is possible through the SDK. So when the user connects to Sendbird, that's when we recommend registering the device token. Um, every single time, because that means they'll always have the latest device token on file with Sendbird, and they'll be able to receive the push notification. Um, you can also choose whether or not to send push notifications to um, users when they're offline all the time in every single place, or if they're using, you know, so if they're using multiple devices, you know, if they're online on website, for example, but they're not online on their phone, do you want them to receive a push notification or not? So it's the multi-device support. So for moderation, uh, as mentioned before, operators can freeze the channels, they can send admin messages, they can ban and mute users. There's also user level moderation. So users can block other users through user and user blocking. Uh, users can also report other users, channels, messages for inappropriate content. Uh, at the message level, there's profanity filtering. So if, you know, this is not just useful for um, inappropriate words, it's also useful for um, protected words. So if you have a sensitive word for your application, such as your, your, your organization name, for example, you can ban that word from being used in, within your application. You can also filter out um, inappropriate domains through domain filtering. And there's many other options available for some moderation functionality. Sendbird offers webhooks as well. So you can choose whether or not you wanna to listen to these if your service um, needs them or not. So we have things for channels, for users, for reporting that happens under the hood, profanity, um, and other alerts. So if your service wants to listen to any of them um, and do any post-processing, business intelligence, or any other third-party integration, that's totally fine. You can do that. Um, we listen to, you can listen to messages as well. So if you wanted to send something like an email notification, from your own service, you can do that through webhooks as well. So just to give you an idea, so the webhook tries retries to send the request if there's no response from your service. So it, that's how it works is we send the request and your service has to respond to it. Um, and otherwise it will retry. Uh, we send post event webhooks for, you know, such as the group channel message send. We also send a, we also have a pre-event webhook where if you want to moderate messages, you can use the pre-event message webhook um, to allow or block messages from being sent. The Sendword dashboard has some great options available to you. So you can have account management that's all through Sendbird here on the dashboard. This is where you set up your application. This is where you can control which users are invited to the Sunbird dashboard through the roles and permissions and what kinds of functionalities on the Sunbird dashboard they have access to. There's things like a user list, the channel list, you can see usage statistics, such as monthly active users or MAUs, uh, peak connections, or PCs, or uh, the message counts and other such statistics on the dashboard. And you can also contact Sunbird support. So if you need help with anything, please let us know and contact us right away through the dashboard. Uh, the application settings are available to you as well. So you can set up push notifications. You can set up uh, an access token policy to decide whether you want to allow or deny users from access connecting to Sendbird if they have an access token or a session token or not. 
Uh, you can also specify which domains are allowed. So if you are sending traffic to Sendbird through your website, you can allow that domain explicitly and deny all the rest. This is also where you can control that chat history. So if uh, you want to allow users to join into a channel uh, after that channel has been around and already has messages, and you want to show them that history, you can turn that on here in the Sendbird dashboard. Um, Sendbird also sends uh, some automated messages. So you can set up which auto messages you want to have sent from Sendbird, such as users joining in a channel or user left the chat, things of that nature. This, you can also turn on webhooks and some of the chat features such as profanity filtering, domain filtering, and other premium features are available here on the dashboard. Now, one of the premium features that is available is this moderation tool. So you can moderate open channels and group channels by seeing inside the chat. So every uh, customer of Sendbird will be able to see a list of channels, but those that have moderation tools available are actually able to click into a channel and see the messages that are inside with it. Um, you can also see the members or the participants in the channel, depending on if it's a group channel or open channel. Um, as a dashboard moderator, you'll have the ability to ban and mute users, uh, delete messages or moderate messages. Uh, you'll be able to freeze the channel. So if you want to only, uh, if you want to stop other users from talking in the channel, you can freeze it. And you can also send administrative messages into that chat. And that's it for our Sunbird 101. Please let us know if you have any other questions and thank you very much.